Welcome to part 5 of this stylized penguin blender tutorial series. So in the last part we had done some basic rigging, and in this part we are going to be finishing the rigging by rigging the face. Real quick though, before we continue with this part, I wanted to let you know about my Space Station Corridor Blender tutorial series. So I've created a five part blender course where I'll show you step by step in real time how to create this sci-fi space station corridor. I'll have a link in the description if you'd like to watch the course trailer, and I'll also leave a link in the description to the product on Gumroad if you'd like to purchase. And purchasing the course is also a great way to help support me and this channel. And as well as checking out my Gumroad store, another great way to help support the channel is by checking out my Patreon page. So if you join my Patreon, then you'll be helping to support the channel each month, and you'll also get access to the tutorial files, artwork project files, and procedural materials and other 3D models and assets. So checking out my Gumroad store and Patreon page are great ways to help support me and this channel. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to add the face bones. So I'm going to select the armature, and then I'm going to press tab, and that's going to go into edit mode. And so I now just want to add some different bones here so I want to add a bone for the top part of the beak and a bone for the bottom part of the beak and then I also want to add two bones for the eyebrows and then also I want to add some bones here for the eyes so I'm going to select this bone right here the head bone and I'm going to press 3 on the numpad and that's going to take me to the side view I'm now going to press shift D and shift D is going to duplicate the bone and I'll press S to scale and we'll scale that down and then I can press R to rotate we're going to rotate this over and G to grab and we're going to bring this down here and I just want to put this bone right here at the bottom of the beak, kind of where the beak is going to rotate. So wherever this bone is, if I just select this end point of the bone, if I press R to rotate, you can see it's going to rotate by the starting part of the bone. And so I want to bring this over so that it's rotating at the correct spot so it actually looks like it's where the beak would rotate. So I want to bring this up a little bit more, bring this kind of to about there. So if we rotate that, now the bottom of the beak will rotate with that bone. So that's good. I'm just going to select this and then I'll press Shift D to duplicate. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit and we're going to make the top one. So if I select this here and press R to rotate, that is where the top beak is going to rotate. And that is looking pretty good. I'm going to press 3 again to go to the side view. So I now want to add another bone right over here for the eyebrow. So I'm actually just going to select this original bone and I'll press Shift D to duplicate. I'm now going to press R to rotate and then I can type in 9, 0. And then I also want to type in negative. So type in negative 90 and then enter and that'll rotate that over. And then I can press 1 on the number to go to front view and I can press G to grab we're gonna bring this over there and just kind of bring it right in front of the eyebrow and then I'll press s to scale and we're gonna scale that down and then I'll press 3 again to go to the side view and I'll just bring this out to about there. So now when we rotate this, if I just select this piece right here, I can double tap the R key. When I rotate this or move this bone, we're going to make it so that it also moves the eyebrow. And then let's also create the eye bone for this eye and then we'll take these two bones and we will duplicate them and move them over. So what I want to do is I want to duplicate a bone, but I want to put the bone in the very center of the eye. Because if I tab to go back into object mode, I can select this object right here and if I double tap the R key that is going to enable the trackball rotation now this is not rotating in the very center of the eye so what I need to do is I need to set the origin point to the very center of the eye and then that way when the eye rotates it's only going to rotate the eyeball around in a circle but it's not going to move the eyeball around and I can actually do this for both eyes at the same time so what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key and just shift select both of those eyes now to make the origin point in the very center of those eyes I can click on object we're going to click on set origin and then I'm going to click on origin to geometry. That way, those little uh, orange dots right there, or those yellow dots, that's the origin point, and it's going to put that in the center. So now if I double tap the R key, you can see that the eye looks like it's looking around, but it's not actually moving anywhere. So I can select this one, double tap the R key, and you can see that's rotating around. So I now want to place a bone in the very center of where that origin point is. So I want to place a bone right there, and then when we rotate the bone, it's going to rotate the eye. So what I'm going to do is just select this object, and then I'm going to press shift s and shift s is going to bring up this pie menu with these settings now I want to click on cursor to selected and this way the 3d cursor is going to be in the very center there of that eye so now that the 3d cursor is in the center there I'm just going to select the armature and then I'll tab to go into edit mode and I want to select this bone right here and I'll press shift D to duplicate I'll also press R to rotate and I'm going to rotate this on the x-axis and I can type in a 9 0 and 
then enter. I'll also press S to scale and G to grab. And I'm just going to bring this pretty close. Okay, just like that. So now I want to bring this over into the very center there, which is where the 3D cursor is. So again, I'm going to press Shift S. And I'm going to go right up here and I'm going to click on selection to cursor. So it's going to take whatever is selected and it's going to move it to the 3D cursor. So click on selection to cursor and now it's going to bring that bone right over there. And that's exactly what I want. So now if I select this and just select this front part right here and press R to rotate or double tap the R key, that's going to do the trackball rotation. And you can see that's rotating around. So we can just take the eye and parent it to this bone. And then when we move the bone, it'll rotate the eye. Now, before we actually parent these objects, to those bones we need to duplicate these and move them over so that they're at the exact same spot but on the other side so what i'm going to do is press shift c again shift c will send out the 3d cursor and then i'm just going to hold down the shift key and just make sure both of these bones are selected so these two ones on the side here i'm now going to click right here on the pivot point and i'm going to change this to 3d cursor that way if i scale this you can see it's going to scale it by the 3d cursor so i can now press shift d shift d is going to duplicate the bones and then i can press s and we're going to scale the bone now I want to just scale them over on the x-axis so I'm going to hit x and that's going to scale the bones on the x-axis and then I want to bring it over right over to here so I'm going to type in negative one and then enter and that's going to bring that over and so you can see that now it's at the exact same spot but on the other side and that is what I want all right so I'm going to now click here on edit mode and I'm going to go back to object mode and then let's parent all these so I'm first going to do this eye so I'm going to select this eye and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and select this armature and then I'm going to press control tab and control tab is going to go into edit mode and then I just want to select this bone and when we were in object mode we selected this eye so the eye now has the orange outline so I'm going to press control P now and I want to set parent to bone and that is going to make the object follow along with that bone so I'm going to click on bone and now when I rotate this bone or move it or scale it you can see that object is moving along with that bone now it's still set to the 3d cursor the pivot point is set to the 3d cursor so I just need to click right here and I'm going to change this back to median point. Now if I double tap the R key, you can see we are using that bone to move around the eyes, and that's exactly what I want. All right, so let's click here on pose mode. We're going to go back to the object mode, and then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So I'm going to select this eye and then hold down the shift key and select the armature. Let's press control tab, and control tab is going to go into edit mode, actually pose mode. And then I'm going to select this right here, select this other bone. We're going to press control P, and I want to set parent to bone. So now if I select like this bone I can double tap the R key and you can see that eye is moving along with it and my green screen stopped working so let me just fix that there we go that's looking better so let's press control tab now that'll take me back to object mode and I want to do the same exact thing so I'm going to select the eyebrow object I'll hold down the shift key and then select the armature let's press control tab to go into the pose mode and then just select this bone I'm going to press control P we're going to set parent to bone and now if I rotate this or scale it or press G to move it you can see that we can move that eyebrow all right, so let's press control tab. That'll take us back to object mode. We'll do the same thing. So select this eyebrow, hold down the shift key, select the armature. We'll press control tab to go to pose mode. And then we're going to select this right here. And we're going to press control P. We want to set parent to bone. And now if I just double tap the R key or press G to grab or S to scale, that's going to move along with it. All right, so there we go. And then to kind of see how this is looking, you can click on this button right here and that's going to turn off the overlays. So I can now like rotate this or I can you know, rotate it or scale it or move it. That's going to move the eyebrows. Let's also click on this button to turn this back on. Now, if you want to move both of the eyes at the same time, you can click right here on the pivot point and you can change this to individual origins. And if you change this to individual origins, now if you double tap the R key, it's going to move the bones individually. So if I just select this bone and then shift select this bone, I can now double tap the R key and you can see now the eyes are moving together. So I can just turn off the show overlays and then you can double tap the R key and you can see the eyes are moving together. Um, but if you clicked on this and if you change this back to median point, if you now double tap the R key, you can see it's going to move the eyes together, but that's not how I want the eyes to move. I want the eyes to move individually. So on the pivot point, change that to individual origins. And then if you double tap the R key, you can see those eyes are going to move together. That's looking really cool. All right, let's click on this button here to show the overlays again. So now we're going to do the same thing for the mouth. So I'm going to go back into object mode. We're going to do the same thing. So just select the top beak, hold down the shift key and select the armature. We'll press control tab and that's going to go back into the pose mode and then I'm going to select this bone Let's press control P. We're going to set parent to bone So now if I press R to rotate and I can rotate this on the x-axis You can see that the mouth is opening. 
All right, so I'm gonna control tab to go back into object mode. Let's select the bottom beak. We're also going to go into wireframe by holding down the Z button, going over to wireframe and letting go. And then I wanna hold down the shift key and select the tongue. And then I'll hold down the Z button, go back to solid view. And then I'm gonna hold down the shift button and select the armature. And we can press control tab to go to pose mode. And then I'm just gonna select this bone here. And then again, I wanna press control P and we're gonna set parent to bone. So now if I press R to rotate, actually I'm going to go into the material preview to preview that if i press r to rotate on the x-axis you can see that i can rotate that down and that's going to open the beak so now we can kind of make him talking that's pretty cool let's press alt r and alt r is going to clear the rotation and then i'll click on this button again to show the overlays now if you select the main head object and press r to rotate you can see that's not rotating correctly because all of these bones are not rotating with the head so what i'm going to do is just go back to object mode make sure in the object mode make sure everything is deselected and then just select like the armature. So I'm now going to press tab that's going to go into edit mode and I want to parent all these bones to this bone. So I'm going to press B for the box select and I'm just going to box select all these bones. Just hold down the shift key and select any other ones if you need to. Make sure all of the face bone objects are selected. So I'm now going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to shift select this object right here or this bone, the head bone, and then I'm going to press control P and I want to make parent and I want to keep the offset because again I don't want it to be connected because if if it's connected all the bones are going to move and that's not what i want so i'll press ctrl z to undo that i'll press ctrl p and i want to parent them but keep the offset so they are going to stay in their location so now if i go back into pose mode i can select the head bone and i can rotate that and it's going to rotate the entire head so i can double tap the r key rotate that double tap the r key and rotate the neck but then these bones can still move individually so even though i've rotated the head i can rotate the eyes rotate that over and i can give him some sort of expression and then I could turn off the overlays and there we go so that's looking really cool so I'm gonna turn on the overlays I'm gonna double tap the a key and then I'm gonna press alt r that'll clear the rotation and then alt g that'll clear any movements and alt s and that'll clear any scale and then before we finish up with this part there is one more thing I want to show you so if you're in pose mode and you select everything you can click right here and just make sure this is still set to individual origins and then I'm also going to turn off the overlays so now that that's set to individual origins I have all the bones selected if I double tap the R key it's going to rotate those bones and so it's actually going to rotate that down or rotate that up so you can see if I rotate it over it's going to actually move the entire arm and it's going to rotate each bone so it's not just going to rotate the entire object as a whole but it's actually going to rotate the bones as well so it's really cool you can kind of move this around and see how the penguin can rotate and you can also like make him you know dancing to some music or something <laughs> kind of have them rotating around. Of course, you don't want to rotate it too far because then it starts to get messed up. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of rotate this around and kind of see how the penguin is rotating. I can also just rotate it by pressing R to rotate, just rotate it once, and you can really see how those bones are rotating. So that's really cool. Let's just click back over here to turn on the overlays. Let's click on the pose mode and we're gonna change this back to object mode. So let's press Control S again to save and this is gonna finish it up for part five of the tutorial series. So the character is now completely finished. So we have modeled the character, we've textured it and added materials, and we've also finished the rigging. So the entire character is completed. So in the next part, in part six, we're gonna be creating a basic environment, and then we're also going to be posing the penguin, just kind of add a camera and pose him looking at the camera and kind of waving. And then we will do a little bit of compositing and we'll get a final render. And then in part seven, we will be doing the animation for the character. So if you'd like to watch part six, I'll have have it right up there on the end screen and I'll also have the link in the video description. So thank you for watching and I will see you in part six.